Hi everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to Rose Lane. I have a glorious mask mess on my desk. I can't even talk, see that? Um, yeah, I've been working on the cover for our Victorian um, Animals Christmas journal. Um, and I did do the cover part because I did it really late last night. Um, I didn't get in until I don't know, about 10.30 from work last night. And I had something else I had to do for church for this morning. And this is not going to air on a Sunday. This is Sunday, but it's going to probably air like next Saturday or something. Um, but nonetheless, uh, so I put this together so that it had a, an opportunity to kind of dry and uh, figured I'd come down and play. Now, I, today, uh, once I got done with church, which was nice because it's about the only times I get. <laughs> so I was really busy yesterday. So anyway, I did do this um, kind of to help me fall asleep, I think. So let me just show you what this looks like. Um, so we have this, it goes like this. We have this plaid on the front and the uh, pine cones and pine on the spine. And then inside we have snowflakes. Now, I, this is a little messy right now because I am actually planning on doing a hidden spine, uh, spine for it. So. There's going to be more that happens in here. Uh, probably not tonight, but in a subsequent video, most likely. Um, I, have, I have a plan. I have a plan. We'll see if it works. I have an idea. Let's just say that. It may not be a plan. Um, so I came back today and um, decided I was going to try to do the um, cover. And I had some ideas. And, of course, every time I looked at something, I changed my mind yet again. <sighs> honestly. But anyway, I never, never, ever, ever, <laughs> hardly ever use my die cuts. So I have these Christmas die cuts and these were all together. I don't know how well you can see what I'm picking at here. This was all together and I cut it apart um, because I figured I could use it better cut apart and sticking it where I wanted and did these little pine cones, which are really, really cute. I try to see. I'm trying to see without standing up. Um, so yeah, there are two parts. Uh, the bottom I cut in a lighter, kind of a reddish brown, and then the top is cut in the darker brown. Um, so it's it makes like a th sort of 3D effect. So I did a bunch of that. I just cut out some little red dots um, with my hole punch, regular old hole punch, and I'll probably cut out some more because I wanted to use the die cuts on the cover. Um, decided that this is a file folder, <laughs> piece of file folder in craft. Um, this was a card originally, and then I just kind of drew a line around it and then went in and cut it out. I put a bit of, um, uh, acetate in it. And there is a tag in here. Now that's gonna be one of the things that when you take the tag out, it still looks so pretty. <laughs> um, but I put the tag in because I thought it looked like, you know, a forest Christmas tree. And we have the rabbits here and the little bird on the branch there. And um, so what I want, what I was thinking is I want to put a tab on here and I'm probably gonna use this, this dark green color uh, to put a rather wide tab because I want to decorate off the tab so that when you put the card inside, if you just tip it back a little bit, the front of the tab will go over the pocket and the greens will come down onto here. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um, and then maybe do some stuff down here as well. And I also have, which I haven't cut anything out yet. These were from Sam Poole some uh, Christmas labels. So some of this might look nice. And what I was actually thinking was this one, Peace on Earth, because um, I thought that just went really nicely. So that's probably the one I'm going to use. Um, don't see holly berries is cute, but now I like the Peace on Earth. Uh, I don't see it in any other format here because sometimes, you know, she has the same like Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. She has holly berries over here and holly berries over here. So, you know, but I don't see another piece on earth. So I, I think that's probably the one I am going to use. 
um, on here and we'll incorporate it in somehow to the cover, uh, into the design. So that being said, um, I have been trying to decide what I, I was looking at cream colored lace and I thought, well, I can't find anything I really like in cream. So let me look at the white cause I can always dye it, but you know, I'm looking at it. And the other thing I want to do too, is I want to bring my ribbon to close it. I don't want to eyelet here. I want to bring the ribbon under this and, and it'll go around the back and tie. Um, <clears throat> so, um, cause I want to bring this as close as I can <clears throat> to the edge to give me some more decorating space back here. So when I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I'll line it up across the edge of the um, spine here and it came across the end of the uh, picture for the card, you know, <clears throat> for the front, excuse me, I have a frog. I kind of like the way it looked. It reminded me of snowflakes. And I thought, you know, I really like that. And then I started thinking, well, do I want another lace to go? Now, this is where it's folding. Okay, so this is all on the front cover. Um, so I'm thinking, do I want another lace that would go back here and kind of do that along the edge? And I was thinking that looks kind of nice, but maybe a little too much. Um, and then I had this, I'm sorry about the noise. Let me try to get away from the camera a little bit. I know we all like the noise, but it seems to be exaggerated on the camera. Do you think I can ever find the way? There we are to open this. Okay. This one's really small, narrower even I think than this and less busy. Let me find an end here because you never can. Here's one. And because it mimics the little balls on the end here, I thought that might be a good choice too, because I really do want to cover the edge of this. Not very far, because I want to be able to get the um, card, uh, journaling card in and out. But I thought maybe I can put this to the other side and that might look nice. I don't know, I'll have to see it when it's closed. Maybe I'll just do it here uh, where the spine closes and do it coming in like that. Cause I don't wanna cover a lot of the pine cone stuff there. So I think that's where I'm going with this. So I've got, <laughs> oh my gosh, but I'm learning to embrace it guys. That's what I'm doing. I'm not gonna complain about the mess. I'm learning to embrace it and enjoy my happy disaster, but nonetheless. Okay. So I think the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put this to the side. And the first thing I want to do is try to figure out, and it doesn't have to be anything fancy, how to make this. And I'm choosing the dark green card for two reasons. One, because it'll show up these things on the back. And two, you know, I, I don't want like red to contrast or anything. I just... I think it would be nicer that way. So I'm gonna bring this out, but I'm not gonna let the cover go too far, the pocket rather. Um, I'm trying to think about how wide, I wouldn't need it terribly wide, but I do need it wide enough to keep it stable, if that makes any sense. So I think I'm gonna cut it there Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let me get my little cutter, which is right over here. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to make this straight, if that's possible. Okay. Get rid of that piece. And then I'm thinking, I don't even mind a little bit sticking up. Um, let me get this to the side while I'm trying to decide this. Um, I'm going to want it to come about that far, maybe over the top and give me about that much room to work. So let's go ahead. I should really score that. Let me get my little scoreboard. 
Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, here we go. Um, all right, we're going to go right, right there, whatever that is. Uh, looks like seven eighths of an inch, <laughs> just cause you know, cause that works. All right. It should really fold this way. All right. And then we're going to cut that off. All right. I'll just put that back in there. And I'm going to try to be brave. <laughs> try to, I don't know that. I don't think that's a good idea. As soon as I press it down, I can't see it. So, all right, let me get this. This is probably the easier way to do it. So I have decided guys that I need, um, kind of a change of attitude. Um, those of you know that I'm not a big, um, winter fan. I'm trying to learn to embrace that as well. That's okay because I'm going to just curl those, not cur like curl them. Oh my goodness. What do you call that? Trim the, you know, make a corner. <laughs> Gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take the tiny, tiny one, which is the four millimeter. Ay, mamma mia. Okay. That did not work. Okay. I got to get it in this way. There we go. Oh my goodness. Curl it. This one's hard for me to see because it's dark in there and it's dark paper. So, all right, I'm just going to do that. And this seems a little, oh no, is it? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's a little off. Truly it doesn't because you will not know. Okay. Actually, I think, um, let me get that back out. Round the corners. There you go. I'm a little slow on the uptake today, guys. Sorry. Um, yeah, I want to round the corners. <laughs> okay. Ay, 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 ay. Curl the corners. Where did that come from? All right, here we go. All right, so we're going to put this here. I'll glue it to the back. I've got a little edge right here. Let me see. I didn't know. Oh, well, it's coming right off, isn't it? Just get that little fuzzy spot. Let me ink the back. Okay. You know, on Thanksgiving, I uh, watched my all-time favorite movie, which is It's a Wonderful Life. I could watch that movie any day of the year, every day of the year, multiple times a day, which I tried to do on Thanksgiving because one of the stations, and I don't know what it was, uh, had it playing uh, like a marathon, like all day, apparently. Um, well, I was cooking Thanksgiving dinner, and so I didn't really get to the television too, too much. But once dinner was over and I had the men cleaning up, which took a little persuasion, I might add, um, I sat down and I started watching the movie. And it took me three times of watching the movie through to be able to watch the entire movie in pieces, if that makes sense. I kept missing something for something. And I watch the movie again and see that part, but miss another part. And it's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, so finally I did get to see the whole movie. Uh, not like I haven't seen it 40 times before but or more. But anyway, I think about, um, you know, about what, uh, well, you're not going to really, it's a little thingy right there, but you don't see it when it's closed. So I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I think about what, uh, you know, George Bailey goes through and I'm not going to glue this all the way down. So I just want about how much, just about, just about above the curl here. I did fill up my glue, both this one and I tried to fill up my art glitter glue, but I, you know, when I first got these little bottles, I was just in love with them but I don't know now I'm having trouble getting the funnels to work and it's the same funnels and they're 
you know, sparkling clean. As soon as I do, you know, I, I use them, I clean them right out. And um, I, so I don't know. I don't know. But I, I pour it in and it just sits there. <laughs> Can't make it go down. So, okay. So we're going to do that. And, all right, just don't take it off. Give that a, ooh, I'm moving it, rubbing it too hard here. There we go. All right. Um, yeah. Okay, we're only going to glue, we're only going to glue to about here. Hopefully this works. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah, hopefully this will work. All right, just go ahead and glue that here. We'll try to work with it from there. Let's hope it'll, you know, flip back a little bit and give me room to kind of put the design over the edge of the top of the pocket. Okay. <sighs> So here's the thing. Um, all right. I'm trying to decide. I only did one of these. So I think I'd like that there. I'm going to try to piece this first a little bit. Um, maybe I should do it this way. That's, that's a little different. Let me see. This one's a little bit smaller. Okay. And, uh, come on. And then, perhaps this guy and then do I want to try just a couple of these guys one over the other like so where would I put the holly hmm maybe not you maybe Sorry, this is like a work in process here. All right. I don't have to leave those spines on either. Oh, see, here's an idea. All right. What if I do that and then take the pine cones, put them up this way? Like so. This is not staying exactly where I want it, but it's giving me an idea. And then I have my little, oh, that one didn't come out very well. But I could put little berries. This will work better when it's glued in place. <laughs> right now it just wants to bounce around. Come here, you. You know, I think that's okay. I may take one other little one, put that under here because you can't see that holly against the dark green. But let's kind of go with that. All right, let's 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 see what we get here. We have to make sure that we do all our, well, you know what? I better use the art glitter glue, huh? I don't want to, because <laughs> if I use it and then I don't like where it is, then I can't move it. So anyway, yeah, um, for those of you who have watched the movie um, and you, see the change of heart 
that um, George has, and you know, when he comes running in the house and the um, go this way. Yeah, I think so. He comes running in the house and, you know, looking for Mary and um, the sheriff says, George, I have a warrant here. And he says, yeah, that's a piece of paper or something. And he says, yeah, it's a warrant for my arrest. Isn't that wonderful? I'm going to jail. And you think, how can you, you know, think like that? But he has this change of heart. I don't want to glue over uh, because he realizes just how blessed he's been. And, um, you know, after <laughs> I think the first time I ever really watched the movie, I just want to make sure there's nothing there. Uh, the first time I watched the movie, I, I think I was about 11 years old. And, um, yeah, uh, that's fine. I think we we're going to put one of these here. And then, where's the other one? Here we go. We'll put another one. Oh, there they are. <laughs> put another one going out there, right? That's what we were figuring. Maybe a little over. Yes, yes, okay. Um, yeah, I think I was probably about 11 10 or 11 the first time I watched it and it was on late and uh, my mother let me stay up to watch it and I never forgot it I can I can still see it as if you know I'm seeing it through those those child that the child's eyes uh, that I was at the time and uh, I just what an impression it made with me and um so anyway it just took me all these years to truly appreciate what it was really all about and uh I mean I knew what it was about for crying out loud but I don't know there was I just decided it's time for me to realize that winter is fine <laughs> there's nothing wrong with winter um, yeah, see, I just want to tip that down a little bit so it shows some more. There we go. Good, good. And, um, I think I'm going to try to get one under and then one over. Um, and, you know, just appreciate it for, for what it is. Which side am I on here? Well, actually, I guess I can use the whole side, can't I? Um... And just learn to embrace the things that would normally drive me crazy. Um, truly, just learn to embrace it. And that is what I'm going to try to do. So, my big mess on my desk is just that, a mess on my desk. But I'm going to try to turn that a little. Maybe I want that up higher, this one, huh? Yeah. I want to, where's my art glitter glue? I'm going to get a little bit more glue on here because this is, these pine cones are pretty thick when it comes right down to it. So I want to make sure that they're good and stuck. Good and stuck. So anyway, um, so I think I can, I'm going to go higher with this one, right? Like that. Yeah. Okay. So that's my plan, guys. I'm going to embrace the mess on my desk. That's not to say that I'm not going to try to clean it, but I'm, you know what? I'm just done sweating things. I really am. <laughs> I really am. And uh, it is just time to. Stop sweating all this stuff. Stop worrying about all this stuff. Stop, you know, getting too concerned about all of this and that. And just enjoy my life. 
Life is too short to get all worked up about all these things. Okay, now here comes the fun part. <laughs> I gotta try to get these guys on here. I really don't want to be using these um, tweezers too much with glue because I already have a pair that have been glued together. So I think this will turn out loverly. I do, I do. Okay, kind of mush that down in there. Get another one. I'll try to go as close to the edge as I can so that I don't get the glue on it, if it's possible. And there we have that part. Okay. Now, if it does what I think it ought to do, it should lift back. Let me, um, I had a bone folder. Here we go. Let me just make sure. All right. It should lift back and let me put it in the pocket. So let's see if in fact that works. It does. <laughs> And there we have the top part, which looks really, really pretty. I might even think about putting a little bit of, that's a good idea, but not now. We'll do that last, uh, stickles, because we have to let it dry. Okay, so now that that part's done, and I, I can always punch more of these little um, berries. I thought I had six of them. There it is. Okay. All right, now what we want to do, now when I move those all over and then I've got to put the, the uh, cover down. All right, so now that we have that, and I don't mind that even sticking up a little bit over the top, and I'm thinking about putting it down right about there. Okay, now, all right, I had it. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Here it is. Okay. Yesterday, I dyed some uh, chiffon ribbon. It did not come out as dark as I would have hoped, but when I put it up against it, I thought, you know what? I kind of like the softness of it. Um, but I think what I'm also going to do is not do it alone. I am going to, if I can find it, give me a second. I should have had it ready for you. I started marking some of these. Uh, bins with temporarily with post-its um, okay this is my bin of chiffon ribbon so I actually dyed this color with lumberjack red and aged mahogany and that is the color that I got. No particular formula. I just kept doing it because I thought it had to go darker. Um, but I thought I would like to have the cream with this as well. So excuse my reaching up too far. I want to make this the same length. So... I thought about that, you know, late last night while I'm trying to fall asleep. I probably have way too much ribbon here, guys, um, but that's all right. I'll trim what I don't need and um, all will be well. Okay, oops, all right, here we go. Let's get this. I'll put this back in the package. I don't know where the package is. No, I just, I was going to say, I just had it. <laughs> Embracing that mess. That's what I'm doing. Okay. 
I want to keep an eye on that, make sure that um, I don't run out of time. Oh, that doesn't go there. That's where my lace goes. Down there. Uh, again, if my if my camera shuts off, I will just follow it with a quick part two to do whatever it is we have to do to finish up. So, um, that being said, and I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and put this ribbon on with whatever I think I needed uh, right now. And I'm going to put the red side up because I want to put this on. Um, well, you know what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I'm, oh, sorry about that. I'm not ready for putting my signatures in yet. I still have some more. Um, okay. I still have some more um, ephemera and tags to make. Well, not so much tags, but mostly ephemera pockets and uh, things to put them in. I think I may put one just a little higher. I'm just trying to make it lay as flat as possible over here. Come on now. I don't have a lot of room to my left because I have a pile of stuff. And what I like about plaids <laughs> is I get lines so that I can kind of get an idea about where they are. Now, I'm not too worried about gluing all of this down. I'm just worried about getting it tacked down. So it's in place um, while I work on the cover. Once I put the picture down, um, that will um, I'm trying to press it through. Once I put the picture down, that will um, tack it down all the way. Okay, that's good. So let's go ahead and do that and put the picture where I want that. And I kind of like the idea of having it hang over the top here a little bit. I want it over to this side, but I want a little bit of that cream color to show just a bit. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and just glue that down. Just want to make sure that this is where I want it. Okay. All right. So we'll go ahead and get this part down, and then we will work on the other part, the bottom, with our nice little peace on earth sign and somewhere i'll probably put some ribbon not sure but let's get that lace and stuff on first make sure it's good and glued all right so I'm going to stand up, so sorry for my voice getting louder because I'm near the, um, much nearer the phone. So try to talk a little quieter. Try to see if I can get that about where I want it. Whoops, that's a little too far up there. Okay, I think that will do. I got a little bit of glue on my finger. I don't want to press on it. Okay. So, that will do that. I'm going to get this so I can press in the middle without putting my fingerprints all over everything. And there we have that. Okay, I think we're good there. A little bit of glue out there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead. We get that piece on earth. We get that cut out and I'm thinking, um, 
just going to cut this real quick. It's, I, it's kind of a, it's not really black. It's like a dark brown and cream, which is pretty appropriate. So let's just get that cut out. And I'm thinking, um, might take a little bit of brown paper and try to kind of scrunch it up, give it a little more texture, you know, scrunch it up a little bit behind it, I'm trying to think of just how thick of a piece would I want. Do I want to use painters? I don't think so. I think I want something a little, little heavier, you know, a little more substantial, I think is the word I'm trying to come up with. I kind of like it like that. And then we're going to work with these greens around it, whatever I have here. I just lost some stuff under here. And I do apologize if you're getting a glare. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> do you think I could lift these things up? Nope, I cannot. I'm trying not to wreck them. All right. Get these three little fellas. I'll probably need more than that. All right. That might make it a little easier. Um... I think I have a paper, no, no, it's too heavy. Hang on one second, I'll be right back. Let me go see if I have something else and I'm gonna take my slippers off so you don't have to hear me scuffling across the floor because you'll hear me over here now. Um, let me see, let me see, paper, paper, what about you? I don't think this is going to be dark enough for what I'm looking for, but there is a way around that. Okay, now I'm going to put my slippers back on. <laughs> you will hear me scuffle a little bit. Okay, that really is too light, but let's see something here. Let's see. All right, let me do a little bit more. Kind of liking the modeled look. I'm going to try to make it a little darker. Things are shifting in my little holder over here. Make sure that it's big enough. Let me get something a little bit darker. Hang on, hang on. Oh, working through my processes here. That might be too dark. All right, how about this one? Let's see this. That one is walnut stain. And let me get... There we go. Yeah. That's more what I'm looking for. I think. Just want to get a big enough piece. And I kind of like the, you know, unevenness of it. All right. Let me put that back here and let me put this back there and then let me go ahead. I'm probably going to actually have to get that back out again. All right, I'll put that down here and do I want all behind it? Do I want just part behind it? 
think I want all behind it, but let me go ahead and try to tear these edges a little bit. And I want them nice and uneven, really, 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 really uneven. So in and out. Okay, let's make sure I have it with enough. All right, now I am going to try to make my edges darker here. I think I'm off camera, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to focus on what I'm trying to do or, uh, you know, obtain with this. And I don't mind it a little, let's crunch it up a little bit. Okay. And I'm just gonna take that and go over those folds a little bit. I like that, like that. Okay, now I'm just gonna clean out this dauber a little bit because it was for my, my oxide one. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's go ahead here. I'm gonna do the edges of the piece on earth. I'm gonna touch it just a bit here and there with the ink so it's not so stark. Okay. All right. So there we have that. I may end up making that smaller. I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's see where we can fit all this stuff in now. Um, we have, oh, we have this one. Come back down near you. You do have to watch these little guys. Come on. All right, so we have one. I want to bring these out as far as possible because there are lighter background. I'm thinking maybe I want to, yeah, that will make it better. But I do think I want it smaller. Okay, let's go a little smaller. Just a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. And then I can tear where I want. Let's hope I don't wreck it. <laughs> so we'll do that little glue on there. Okay, and let's go ahead and put that about there. All right, and then let me just go on this way. I have to get my walnut stain back out. Okay. All right, that'll work. Okay, walnut stain again. Let's try to go along these edges. All right. So I'm glad you guys decided to stop by and decorate the cover with me. Um, really starting to feel like I'm getting my mojo back as people say because sure was a missing when you're away uh, from doing this stuff the way I seem to be so frequently um, yeah it's you know whew, it just gets crazy I'm going to try to put 
that there and I want this kind of going down on an angle but not a sad angle just an angle this can go up this can go over I don't want that quite that up all right that's there that one can go there. Um, I think I can snip this because it just kind of gets in the way. I think maybe that way. And then one of these. Well, that didn't help me. Okay. This is just giving me an idea that one over the top a little bit more. No, no, not on there. Okay. And then we can do three pine cones in the middle. Maybe this underneath that. If I need to, I'll tuck it in. Okay. All right, so that's kind of my idea. So let me go ahead. We're going to start with this in the middle. So let me just grab these two. I'm going to try to overlap them. Get this glue just a little bit. And glue that here. And I'm not worried at the moment about actually getting it all glued down. Oops, I will do that, but not at the moment. I will get it all glued. Um, all right, I think I will snip some of this off. I think we want to put some out this way. So we will build, all right. So when this airs, if I'm not mistaken, it will be December 2nd. And that being said, I believe, I'm hoping if it's possible, I will have this done and I, am planning on putting it in my shop though it may be a little late um for that oh, that one actually let me well yeah let me use that one because it'll be at the back more when i was taking it out of the die uh cut it, you know, out of the the metal frame, um, it started to tear. So it's got a little bit of a weak spot there. So I just want to be careful with that. <laughs> Trying to find a place to put my fingers so I can hold it down. Okay. That's good. Like I said, I will I will go back and this one's going to go this way. Okay, a little further in. Come on now. It is an issue for me because sometimes I just can't tell um where I am with it. I think I want this on top. Come on out. Yeah. I can move that a little bit. Um, yeah, I can always tell how I've got a piece turned because I lose that um, depth perception. It's very strange. And I'm really working on trying to get used to that. How I make those adjustments, yet I have not figured that part out yet. 
but I'm working on it. Oh, I like that that overlapped. That's not how it was, but let me get these away before I cut my cut my ribbon by accident. So, yeah, there's a lot of little bits and pieces on this one. So, I think now I want to take this and yeah, okay, okay. So, <laughs> so I'm trying to decide how I'm gonna do this. All right, let me try to glue this down first. I only know if I'm actually getting glue on this if something white stays there because otherwise I can't always tell if I'm actually on the piece or not. So, all right. And we're going to put that like that. Okay. That is good. Then I am going to snip this too because I really don't need the whole piece. And this one I want to go, I think we'll bring it under from there, but over the top, like, ooh, look at that. It's already sticking in the glue, hot dog. Okay. So that's all right. We kind of covered the P there, but that's okay. All right. Let's glue in the back of the label now. Okay. And I want to glue these guys before I put that label back down so that it will be stuck under the label stem part but whoops I have to overlap <laughs> I have to overlap that part okay there we go all right we like that like that okay all right now um I need just another, didn't get this part in. So I think what I will do, I'm trying to decide. Um, let me cut this one here. I need a little bit of this over here to offset the color. Okay, we are almost ready. I am contemplating putting ribbon on here. I just don't know where. Um, so I'll have to figure that out. I'm not sure exactly where it would work. Okay, that there. Okay, now I have three. We're going to put one. I wish these were smaller. Two. I can lift these. Okay. Lift those up. I'm going to put one of these underneath that way. Alrighty. Starting to plug up a little. Okay. Put one of those there. Up here. I'll re glue them down. Clean off 
this tip. It's picking up all the fuzzies from the paper because they're it's wet. All right, let me pick that up. Okay, and then this one I will put there. And then I think I was going to put Maybe another one there. I'm trying to overlap where I can. A lot of little branches on here. All right. So I got a phone call from my son the other day about lunchtime. And, uh, you know, he every now and then he'll just call, just to call. And um, so I said to him, I said, you just calling to say hi to your mom? Or are you calling to tell your mom that you're going to come visit her for Christmas? And he said, well, I was really just calling to say hi. He says, but I might. I might be coming for Christmas. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, yay. I was all excited. So, uh, yeah, so it looks like my son may be coming for Christmas, which would be lovely. And uh, he'll take the train out. Um, so we'll see what happens, but I'm very excited. And uh, even when I don't um, get to see him, um, I always have a real Christmas tree. Even if it's just a tiny one, I need this little bit. And uh, the reason for that is um, when he was born, he was born in June. So it, our first Christmas with him, he was like six months old. Whoa, don't do that. We don't want you to do that. Stop that. And um, so I had made a decision that I was going to save a little branch off of every Christmas tree. Um, you know, so that he could, I would have, um, a collection of them and that when he got married or moved out on his own, which at this point it's, he moved out on his own, um, that I would, uh, I'm trying to think, do I need, do I need another one? Oops, that's the wrong way. Um, when he moved out on his own, that I would put these. There we go. That's the way. All right, so that bump to there. Okay, let's try to remember that, but I'm sure I won't. Um, I would make all these branches into a potpourri. Of course, I would, you know, add essential oils and little pine cones and, you know, whatever. And... Uh, you know, try to make it trying to decide up a little higher. Yeah. Um, try to make it, you know, something pretty and that it would be part of his, you know, Christmas decorations. Of course, you know, hopefully when he, when he got married, et cetera, et cetera. And it would be part of his Christmas decorations. And that with every subsequent tree he would have, um, he would add to it. Or I could help him add to it. It's turning out that he's not a very crafty guy. He always tell me I can't art. That's what he tells me. Uses art as a verb. Um, and uh, I just keep pressing this down because it's very lumpy. All right. And I think I want to put... I do want to put another one of these here. But I think I also want to put a little bit of that green. And I want to put that under. 
I think under, yes, I want to put that under. So I don't need too much. Let me just, just cut it here and I'll cut, I'll cut where, I'll cut there. And I think I can get rid of this part because I don't need a whole bunch. Um, trying to decide now which way I want it to go. No. I don't want to cover the bunnies and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, like that. And then I have berries I want to put in. I want to put in probably more than just a few, but I think that's where I'm going to put the bow. I'm going to put a bow there, and I think we will use this one. Or I have, we do have two in here, and the colors are similar, but one is a little more pale. Let's see if I can figure out which one. This is the this is the paler one, right? Yeah, I think I want to go with that one. If I can separate it from the other one. The color is very much the same, but this one is just a little more washed out like the reds. This is way more than I need. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So let me go ahead. I'll put this one down. Um, so every year I at least have a tiny tree. I don't get to see my son really on the holidays because he would always have to work and it's hard to get away and, you know, that kind of stuff. It's a long trip and, you know, seems sometimes it, the more I move, the longer they, further away I am. So, uh, but this year he has discovered the train and enjoys that ride much better than the driving. So, yeah. So, the company that he works for right now is a very family-oriented company, which is very nice. And they close over the Christmas holiday as um, school children are out, so they close as well. And... Um, take the smaller one so yeah so uh he's off that week the school is closed um so he doesn't have to worry about his coaching and uh, at least not at the school he has uh clubs that he coaches at but he just won't book anybody and probably for the most part most people are not going to show up over the holiday so yeah, that works nice. Okay. Um, you know, over the holiday week. So, so who knows? It would be nice. Definitely would be nice. All right. Um, I think what I want to do first is the, uh, is the bow. Um, Let me, I'm going to try it with my bigger fork and see what I get. And I actually don't mind some long tails, I think, because I think I might kind of twist and turn and tack them down and stuff like that. So let's, I'm trying to get this as flat as possible because it works better when it's flatter. And this is a little little crinkled not a lot but um i don't mind the crinkled look once it's tied but it's hard to work with all right i think that's good so we're gonna go ahead and put that there let me bring a bit around the front decide where i want to cut that and i know where i cut it is going to be a funny edge but that's okay i'll trim it later Okay, so let's go ahead and try to, <laughs> trying to make it flat, go flat, 
Come on now. I'm just having the glue all over my fingers. You know what? I'll I'll do that in a minute. Let me just try to get this through here first. And then once it's through, I will see about straightening it if I can. All right, this one goes that way, and I'll try to hold it with my finger while I try to straighten this one, which may be a lost cause because <laughs> it's like completely folded in half and I cannot get at it. Okay, come on now. I could try to use those tweezers, but I'm afraid I might snag the ribbon. Come on. And I do apologize because I tend to fidget a little bit with it. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and Um, I'm wondering if I would want it a little bigger. Oh, I was going to try to do a double one, right? Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's try it. Let's try it with another piece. Let's see if I can... I was going to try to do it with that, but then that was way too short. So I'm just going to cut another piece here. And I can always trim some or whatever. So let's see. All right. Put the longer side behind. And I'm not going to worry about trying to make this flat. Okay. The longer side behind. Get the two right ones, the two correct ones. And get them through the fork here underneath. And then pull that and bring that up and around. And then let's go ahead and try to tie this. Now I'm not gonna tie it really tight because I'm gonna try to open it up a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. And I don't think that's gonna work. Don't think it is. All right, that's not working. So I'm gonna do this a different way. I want it bigger. So I want a bigger bow. So I'm gonna try to, not very dexterous anymore. <laughs> okay. Get a kind of a center knot to start from. There we go. All right. And then we'll just make That's interesting. I'd like to know how I can manage <laughs> How can I manage? Oops, I just knocked off my, I was trying to pick up my little, my little berries and I knocked them down. Oh my gosh. Now I'm, that's okay. I'll make more. All right. Let's see if I can pull that tighter and let's see if I can get this to undo. It seems like I can't even figure out which way it's folded. It's folded so well. Oh, my, 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 my. No matter which way I go, it's like stuck. I can't find the edges. Oh, this is ridiculous. I think the edges are in the middle. Well, that explains it. <laughs> That's why I couldn't find the edges. They were folded, both were folded in. All right. I don't like that. Nope, don't like that. <sighs> what do I want? What do I want? No. 
It really does need something, doesn't it? Um, all right. All right, it's just gonna have to be a small bow, right? I'd let it go. Glue is getting in my way. Sorry about this, guys. Whoever thought that trying to do a bow would be so difficult. All right, I think, try to make that one a little, it's a little bit more even. I think I want to put it here. Okay. A little bit tighter. And, all right. Okay. Um, I'm going to glue it for right now. I'll just go back and decide where these are going to go. Um, let's try it with this. And I would like to try to unfold this a little bit if I can. Because one side is fuller than the other. Come on now. Everybody out. I used to, when I would dye my ribbons, I would, and I did these. I dyed these, but um, I would always uh, iron them. And I haven't been, and that just looks like big rabbit ears. <laughs> okay. A little bit better. Yeah, I think that's better. All right, let's try to get get this glued on. And then we'll decide where we want to put the, um, got this all clogged up, where we want to put the berries and the lace. And what's my time here? Oh my, good heavens. Okay. <laughs> let's try to go ahead and get this on. If I can get this open. It's really, really late. This took way too long. Okay. Come on. Oh, golly. All right, let's try again. All right, there we go. And then, while that is setting, I want to put it this way. Okay. I'm going to turn this okay and we're going to work on this lace so we're going to put that right along here and I'm going to just drop this down can you see me yeah barely but you can see me um, Just gonna go ahead and put this lace across here and it looks like that's gonna work. I'm only dropping it down so that I can see better where my edge is. And try to glue that down a little bit. Okay. And I know this is going to come across here. Not quite there, but. <laughs> All right. And we'll put this right on that edge. And I'm not sure yet if we're going to use the other piece. Oh, I've got a glue. Well, you know what? It may come through. It may come through the chiffon. Okay, let's trim that. Okay. 
Okay. Nice, nice. And then all we need to do is put on a few berries. So we're gonna go, actually, let's use the white glue and we'll put dot, dot, and dot. And let's go ahead and pick these up. One. Come on. Two. Let me get my thing here. That's not my big one. There we go. And we'll do a few more. Okay. Just dump them out there. Put that one there. And then I think we'll put these here. Okay. Now I did four. <laughs> I want to see, only see three. All right. Put that there. And one here. Whoa. All right. And since I don't know where the other one went, it may be still in here. Let's get one more. There it is. <laughs> okay. Put that one just off to the side a little bit. Like so. All righty. Now, what I may end up doing is, um, off. Oh, probably about there. So I'm just going to cut them. However they cut, they cut. But that is how the cover is going to be. Like so. All right. Let's put a little, just tie it for there for right now. And that is how it looks. I think it came out really good. It took a really long time and I apologize. And I know that's because I fussed and fudged and stuff a little bit. So I'm really sorry about that. But in any case, that is our cover with our very neat tag that pulls out of the top like so. And then goes back in. And then you just tip it back and all the pieces go over the edge and it's back to that. So that's it guys. I'm sorry it took so long. I do apologize, but in the meantime, be safe, be happy and be blessed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.